What's up guys, in today's video I'm gonna show you and create two Y2K type of designs and I'm gonna show you how to replicate them in a very easy way using only Photoshop. You could do it even in Illustrator since it's a program that works with vector shape. If you want to know how to make this more complex Y2K design, I already did a video a couple of days ago so go watch it. Let's start this design. So I decided to create this tutorial since I think that when you think of a Y2K design and see some of the examples of creating a Y2K designs, there are a lot of elements in the logos and are very different and very difficult to create if you don't know how to put different elements together. So I decided to just create a beginner's tutorial on how to create a Y2K design. These designs are super, super easy to make. And I think that in 10 minutes or less, you can just achieve one of the two. So we can just start with the first design. With the first design, you will need two fonts. The first one is Planet Cosmos, which you can find it on dafont.com. And the second font is a curly font and it's called Altes. STD and uh, it's a curly font that you can find in the Adobe free font library if you have an Adobe subscription. So you will need two words for this design. I just decided to go with the two words of my brand. So global mind. So global will be, will be in the planet cosmos font and instead the mind will be in the other font that I was talking about earlier. So here we have the main idea. So one the main font, the Planet Cosmo font, needs to be black and the other font white or even the opposite, so two opposite colors. And that what you will need to add is just click on the layer of the curved font and double click and add a stroke in black, so in the opposite color of the actual text color. So you will have something like this, so you, you will have one text black, the other one white with a black stroke and then what you're gonna do is to do the same thing but with the planet cosmos, so the global font but with a white stroke. Afterwards you're gonna get these two elements and create a smart object. Afterwards to complete the graphic you will need to add another stroke over the smart object layer in the color black just to finish off the design with a crisp finish so this is how to make the first design as you can see it's pretty pretty easy and uh, at the end of the day it is easy why well because it's a really simple design with only two text uh, which plays only around the stroke effect the second one is a little bit more difficult since it has some stars but don't worry it is easy as the other one since you will just need to play around with the shapes and how you will want them to be placed so we can just jump and start the tutorial so here we have it uh, here we have the canvas so the first thing you want to do is as the other design is just to grab the planet cosmos design font uh, and just uh, use the same word or even you can just use another word i will use the same one since why not so i will use uh, i'm doing it in a black and white format uh, just because it's easier to see and it's less confusing in my opinion to use only black and white so what you want to do is to grab the planet cosmos font uh, add your logo name and then from there add another stroke uh, in this case the opposite color will be the stroke uh, and then what you will need to do is to add uh, some other text. Uh, in this case, I added my other full name clothing brand name. So Mind Studios, Global Mind Studios in another font. I decided to go with my personal favorite font, which is Monument Extended, which is a pretty basic font. And I really like how it complements the Planet Cosmos font. So what you will need to do is the same thing, so add a stroke, a black stroke, which is the opposite color of the inner color of the font and of the text. Now that you have something like this, you will need to create a shape. In this case I decided to go with a circle, 
a distorted circle how can you achieve that well if you have uh, in the menu bar if you have maybe a square instead of the circle you just need to double click the square with two fingers and select the circle tool from there you can just create a distorted uh, circle by just uh, drawing it in photoshop and then you will need to tilt it a bit as you may prefer and as uh, you think it's correct in my opinion i just tilted it a bit on the right uh, just to create a movement even with the planet cosmos font since the font uh, goes uh, in a way on the right uh, is a little bit uh, tilted on the right and so i decided to do the same thing with the circle and just tilted it a bit on the right as you can see the font uh, and also the design is coming along a little bit different from the actual inspiration design we have up there but it's normal because we just can't achieve the same exact thing uh, by the way the color of the circle will be black uh, as uh, the stroke for the two text now it's time to add the stars uh, to complete the graphics since we're basically done in a way we just need to add the stars and i think that this part here if you don't know how to place them correctly it could be a problem for you but i got you guys so i will just help you out for the star you can just grab a random star on the internet just type star png you can just grab this exact star or even other ones as you prefer and here what i'm doing is that i wanted to convert it into one color only and i figured out that this uh, star here is not that perfect because as you can see it's a little bit transparent you can see through it so i decided to duplicate the colors uh, just to have a single color star from there i just decided to turn it in into a black star and just started creating something similar to the top design as inspiration so now it starts the part where some people may be confused or have problems but it's a really easy easy step so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna place three or two stars as you prefer or even other stars other type of stars or even what you want i think though that you will need to keep into consideration is that uh, the text uh, the global text uh, and even the circle is all tilted on the right and so even the stars need to follow that kind of trend once you got the concept and the idea in mind then it's pretty easy you just need to duplicate the stars just tilt them in the way that you most like and want in this case i decided to change things up a bit from the original in fact uh, let's speed up a bit this process since it's really just easy and from here once you got the free stars uh, what you will need to do is that you will need to add a stroke uh, of the opposite color of the stars so in this case white of course for the free stars i suggest you to just don't exaggerate with the width and the, just the size of the stroke just a little bit not that much because uh, as you can see on the black black uh, the stars are black and even the circle is black just a little outline will help the reader and the customer see the actual outline of the star so that's perfect and then from there i decided to change a bit the style since i didn't like it that much so i just quickly changed the size and the position of the three top stars then from there when i was really happy about it i started creating the other part let's call it the bottom part of the stars keep in mind though that there needs to be a trend in the stars so in the top part it's uh, large to small and in the bottom part will be small to large or something similar to create the bottom part of the design with the stars you will need to duplicate the upper stars so you will just uh, save some time in adding the stroke and even you will have the same stroke without having just issues maybe changing a bit the stroke you will just need to duplicate using common j on mac on windows i think it's uh, control j something like that One once you finished adding the stars and just uh, playing around with the layer option tab on the bottom left part and uh, just adding some stars over the text and other ones below just to create a sort of layer you will need to add a white background uh, 
inside the logo how can you achieve that well you could just go on the circle layer and just add the uh, inner color of the of the circle then from there you just need to convert all of the things you will need to put them together in a smart object and you will need to add another stroke in this case it will be white the size of the stroke will be a little bit larger just because it's the outer part of the design now just convert again all the layer in another smart object and add another stroke in this case it will be black and it will be in a smaller smaller size just to outline the white background if you're up for a bigger challenge i already created a video where i show you how to design a more complex y2k t-shirt design link down below i'll catch you tomorrow bye bye